everyone, it's Michelle from Scrap Secrets, and I wanted to show you real quickly some of the cards that I've made over the past couple days. Um, I was on Pinterest last night because I had a creativity block, and I drew a bunch of sketches, so I'm going to be making a bunch more cards. I have a bunch of ideas, um, but I just wanted to show you some of the things that I made. One was inspired by something from Pinterest, and the rest of them are just designs that I created on my own. So this first one is inspired by Pinterest. Um, the inspiration came from this word love. It was just a plain white card base and then it just had white letter, white squares going down with the word love in it. The O was a button with some twine through it. So that was, um, so basically I just took the concept of using the word love in four different boxes and then went from there. So I used um, this embossing folder from the Paper Studios and some lavender cardstock, this Fisker's Punch, and pieces of scrap pink paper. Um, I used color box, excuse me, this color box ink set, um, the Plumberry, to ink up the letters. And I used the Martha Stewart letter set that I have. It just has a little design in it. And I used three different rolls of washi tape that I had lying around on my desk and just made some banners out of them. So that was the first card, and it's blank on the inside. Okay. And that was the only thing that I've made so far that's been inspired from uh, some stuff that, I've done on, that I saw on Pinterest. The next cards that I made are some more 3x3 three three cards. I am working on some donations for um, a girl I went to school with for her they're having a fundraiser for her niece um, so I'm going to be doing some donations and these are going to be part of them uh, the card bases are cut at three by three which is three by six and then folded in half so the card is three by three inches wide uh, and then I use the all about boys paper stack this paper right here the space one and then I cut out um, using Nestability's dies these ovals inked it up using some yellow, it's called Ink It Up, from the dollar uh, section over in AC Moore, and this Blast Off from this uh, robot and space stamp set. And then I used a little bit of Mode Lawn Distress Ink to ink up the edges, just to make it stand out a little bit more from the background. So those are just two of them. I'm going to make um, a couple sets of cards to go in there. I'm going to make some regular size ones and then some little mini ones. I think these would be really cute in a little for a little boy's birthday. Um, maybe you should go along with a gift bag or something like that. So I thought those were cute. Uh, the next card is one that I really wanted to try for a while. I saw... Um, I guess one of the trends in the card magazines is to have number cutouts and then have something behind it. So I got these dies oops, from Simon Says Stamp, and they're the numbers 0 through 9, and they're all put together at first, and you can break them apart or use the whole set together and then just take the numbers that you want. So what I did was I used a Nestability Scallop Circle, cut it out of white cardstock, and then ran it back through the cuddle bug with, once I had the numbers aligned properly. And then that's what the washi tape is for, just to hold the numbers in place. And then I was looking for a piece of pattern paper to go behind it, but didn't see anything that I liked. And then I had this tape, uh, this, or it's not tape, I'm sorry, it's ribbon, um, from Celebrate It from Michaels. It was just sitting on my desk, and it was in the dollar bin. So I took three pieces and ran it behind. You can't even tell that it's three pieces. It looks like it's just one. Taped it down, and then took some picked raspberry distress ink around the edges of it. I went through my cardstock and couldn't find anything that I really liked in any solid pinks. So I went to my pattern paper and found this one. And this has the same kind of sparkle as the ribbon that I put behind the 21. So I cut this down. This was, I think it was a dollar or a dollar ninety nine a sheet, and then it was in the clearance section, I think five or six for a dollar. So I just remember thinking this is a really good deal, and I remember it because it's uh, thicker cardstock, and I usually don't buy that. I usually buy the thinner ones. So um, before I attached it down to the card base, I took another strip of this ribbon and fastened it. I did the cheater method. I fastened it behind the 
uh, cardstock with some washi tape and then glued the whole thing to the front. The interior is blank. Uh, it's going to go up on Etsy and somebody can personalize it if they would like. So I just thought this one was really pretty. It's very classic and I think you're going to see a lot more of this kind of stuff coming from me. Like uh, especially for special birthdays like 16th, 21st, 30, 40, 50, stuff like that. So I'm going to be making a lot more of these cards. I had fun doing it. I really like um, the look of having the number cut out of the cardstock. The next card that I came up with is this one. I used the Banner Die from Simon Says Stamp. This actually is a scrap of paper. I, When I was creating one of my mini albums, I used a uh, red piece of cardstock and ran some of this washi tape over it to try to create a pattern. But I didn't really like the way that it looked in the book. I liked the way it looked, but it just didn't look right in the book. So I took it out and I just kept it as a scrap. So what I did was I ran this, I, I attached that to that piece of cardstock and ran it through the cuddle bug. So because of that, I don't know if you can see, it kind of makes the, uh, it makes these dots, instead of making them look white, it makes them look pink. So I took two different color distress inks. This is worn lipstick and this is picked raspberry and then just inked up the back of the card and then attached the banner. And I used this stamp set from Simon Says Stamp, and I used this one, Wishing You a Happy Day, and used some black archival ink and inked it up. And the interior is blank on that one. Um, one of the things that I did the other night was I went through my Cricut cartridges and wanted to see what ones I either haven't used a lot or haven't even used at all. And I came across the Olay one and I realized that I bought this for my sister's wedding album stuff because she got married in Mexico. So I thought that the Olay one would have some really cool things. And it does, but I haven't gotten around to working on her wedding album yet. I am... Still working on my 30th birthday, which was um, several years ago. So I'm kind of behind in my scrapbook albums. So I wanted to use this and make a card. So one of the icons that I really liked was this margarita glass. So this is the card that I came up with. And I'm actually going to make these into sets of invitations. I just made this one so far. Um, so from page 42 of the Olay cartridge... I did this cut in gray. This cut was covered, if you notice, you can see that the drink has a little bit of texture. I had a scrap piece of red cardstock lying around that I had run through the cut -a bug with the Swiss dots. So I used that to cut out the drink part of it. And then this is the line. I cut that out of the green and then these pieces out of the white. And then assembled it. And I used, um, this Darice embossing folder with a piece of white cardstock. First, before I ran it through the cuddle bug, I inked it up with some Tim Holtz tea dye distress ink, put it in the folder, and then ran that through the cuddle bug. And once it came out, I used the vintage photo with my um, ink blending tool and went over the whole thing. And then to give it a little bit more depth, I took the walnut stain pad and ran it very lightly over it. So you'll see some of the areas are a little bit darker than others, and that's where the walnut stain came in. For the background here, I used the Divine Swirls Cuddle Bug Folder and a piece of blue cardstock. And then for the Admit One ticket, I used this stamp set. Here's that. And then I used It's a Party. And it's on a piece of white cardstock, and then I just used the black archival ink that I have and inked it up, fussy cut around it, and then I took a black pen and went over the edges so that you can't see any of the white just in case I messed up when I was cutting it out. And then I used some Tim Holtz tea dye distress ink to ink up the, um, the ticket. So I thought these would be really cute as some invitations maybe for like a summer pool party, you know, come over, hang out kind of thing. Um, I have an invitation stamp, but I haven't done the interior yet. So I'm going to make a couple of them and then I'm going to do the insides of it. But yeah, those. And then the last one that I made is an owl themed card. So I did the same technique on the um, 
on the tree stump for this one, except I used this Paper Studio wood grain embossing folder instead of the Derice one. Same concept with the ink. And then I also used the Divine Swirls Cuddle Bug folder for the background for this, for the sky. Um, attached that down, and then I used um, a Nestability's die to cut out the oval on this. And then use this stamp set and use this owl here with the black archival ink and just stamped him on a piece of brown cardstock and then attached it to the um, the tree stump, the tree stump and then I took this Fisker's punch and took a green piece of cardstock that I just had lying around and cut out a piece and then attached it to the bottom of the card. And then I used this sentiment, who, who, who loves you, I'm sorry, who, 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 who loves you, in the black archival ink, and then just used the heart on both sides. And once everything was attached down, then I opened it up, and then I used the stamp underneath of it, I do that too, in the black archival ink, and stamped that. So, there's a couple of cards that I've created over the past couple of days. Um, I hope that you guys like them, and thanks for stopping by. I will see you guys soon with a new video. Thanks. Bye.